Uh, good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Accustats Video Productions, we'd like to welcome you to the very final match of this year's 2013 Southern Classic Nine Ball Division. There's not much left to do but play to find out who's going to be our champion. We've got Dennis Urcuyo from the Philippines. We've got Lee Van Corteza from the Philippines. There's nothing left but to play one race to nine to crown a champion. Let's give both players a round of applause and lag for the break. AccuStats Video Productions presents the 2013 Southern Classic. Welcome, everyone. I'm David Maddox, and joining me in the booth for the finals of the nine ball division, Danny DiLiberto. It's been some tournament so far. What do you think about the finals? Well, if everybody saw that last match, there isn't much more to talk about. We know they're both great champions, and I expect this to be a toss up. Hopefully, Hill Hill. Hill Hill and both players get an opportunity at the table. That would be um, that would be kind of poetic justice. And it'd be unusual also. It would be unusual, pressure packed, and very fulfilling for the winner and the crowd. The loser, hmm, not so much. Dennis Okuyo won the break, which uh, has uh, taken on uh, newfound importance with uh, the way these guys have been playing, uh, can, you know, can come in big. So uh, getting the first opportunity or first offensive opportunity at the table, and he made the corner ball on the break, and very nice shot on the one ball to get things started. Yeah, and, and, yeah, pretty, pretty good way to start. You know, the two ball went in, so I imagine... To not hit the eight, he's going to go forward, I believe, to the three. Probably three rails. I mean, he could draw it, but I think he's got a bigger target going forward, three rails. I think he'll be successful either way, getting on the three ball. The uh, the only uh, tough spot, or the only tough ball, I should say, is the four ball, given its proximity not only to the side, but also the side cushion. And, uh, ooh. Well, I thought it, he was going to nudge it off right there. Yeah, it could have been worse. He did all right with it. He's going to go one rail to the four, okay. Nice shot on the three. A, a, a really nice angle on the four ball. But he's got a, he's got a little bit of work to do to get position on the five ball. Yeah, I would have liked to get straight in on this ball because... The five to the six would be automatic then. He's going to have to bounce a little. Ooh. And he bounced his wallet that time. If he had played position the way you would have recommended and been more straight in, he wouldn't have had to hit it so hard, and his accuracy would have been better, and he'd probably still be shooting. And he got a benefit by hitting that ball that was on the rail because going forward, none of that would have happened. Right. But anyway... Uh, he's a great player. You can't second guess him. You know they've been here all week, and they got to be a little wore out themselves. We know that it's uh, it's something unusual that uh, you and I haven't had an opportunity to uh, a subject we haven't been able to broach. He missed is missing. Now. Cortez is missing. Uh, we we have, we certainly haven't seen much of that. But uh, in pool, un unlike almost if not all other sports, you have a coach. Uh, you know. And uh, in pool, you're out there all by yourself. So every decision you make, good or bad, falls squarely on your own shoulders. And, you know, someone might have had the foresight to say, you know, you might want to make sure that you get straight in on this four ball. Jerry Foresight had the foresight. He did. I like Jerry. I Where just is he, by I'd the way? Throw it in. Well, he was here last week, but I, I think he has some business he's taken care of. What safety uh, would you choose to play here, Danny? I always like banking it long, perpendicular. I know I say that word a lot, but I think that's what he's got. I don't like cutting it. Is he going to go into the five with the cue ball? No. Maybe not, but he didn't do anything. He went into the five with the four. He's trying to and get under the him. nine. He got him. Wow. That's a beautiful, beautifully executed shot. Well, Corteza comes to the table. His uh, best, I, I would kick at this two cushions. 
he's going at it one rail. Well, only because if he makes it, he'll be on the six. If he goes two cushions, something funny might happen, and that was something funny. He hit it. Pretty good shot. Well, he hit the ball. Got? He hit the ball nicely. Uh, are you going to go all out for the bank, or are you going to try to put him back in under the nine like he did before? Well, all out for the bank doesn't get you to the five, so I think I might consider playing safe. You know, he's got the, the nine and the seven to get him with. Let's see what he... I don't like the bank because I don't think you're going to get position for the, for the five. Well, he tried to play safe, and uh, I think he might... He might have gotten him, he might have gotten him, but I'm not sure. And we saw Corteza jump earlier, and since he only has to go over part of the eight... I don't think he has a jump there, Dave. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I do. He's got I think a he's going to make the four on the side by jumping. I think he's going to make it. Well, if he jumps it, he might hit the eight. I mean the seven. He did hit the seven. Didn't hurt him none. Mm. Can he get by the eight now? He can hit the five. I can't tell if he can hit enough of it to make it. Let's see. I think he could. I'm going to go out on the limb and say he could. And if he can't, I'll, I'll say that. Oof, sweet. <laughs> yeah, he, he was good on that, and he had nothing to do but make it. Because look where the six is. He's got a nice angle to go one or two rails. I like two rails. Yeah, two cushions puts him uh, in good line on the seven ball, and he's, uh, he's in a position where he's going to be able to get within about three feet or so of the seven. Plus, folks, I always say this, much easier easier speed to control going forward with the cue ball rather than draw it. I call it the natural flow of the cue ball. Uh, I, I am just uh, becoming more and more impressed with Cortez's cue ball. I mean, he has just played beautiful position all week. And uh, right now... He may be playing the best position of any of the players from the Philippines. Nice little soft roll on the nine ball, and he strikes first blood, now taking a one to zero lead over Dennis Orcuyo in what is the finals of the 2013 Southern Classic nine ball division. Of course, our combatants, uh, Lee Van Corteza, and Dennis Orcuyo, both from the Republic of the Philippines. They came a long way to play each other. I'll tell you that. They could have played each other at home. They came a long way from St. Louis. No, not St. Louis. I, I don't know their cities. But anyway, anyway, I, I expect to see this become very competitive. I know their cities. I just can't pronounce them. My, uh, my Southern American tongue can't wrap around where they're from. Two ball almost went in, but the eight ball went in the corner pocket. Corteza has a makeable shot on the one ball, which carries, uh, let's call it automatic position. It's uh, nice, uh, much to his benefit, that the one, two, three are close together. Nothing, you know, none of the other balls are close to each other. This is not an automatic. You know, the position's automatic, the shot isn't. But he might make it look easy, but it's still not, it's not easy. He made Ooh. it look easy, he went behind the three, I believe. He sure did. Well, That's okay. That's he hit a ball. Shape, definitely not automatic. I didn't realize that the seven ball was in the path of the cue ball. Um, I think he's probably going to kick the two ball, one cushion. Lightly. Down. No, I, I, I don't want it to go anywhere. I'm going to kick lightly at the lower part of the two and try to go behind the three. That's, I, that's I would where choose. where he's going. Or is he banking? Does it, can he hmm. bank this ball or even cut it in? He looks like he's winding up to shoot. Now, I like cutting it and going behind the three. 
He likes shooting the bank. Oh, no way. <laughs> Did he corner hook himself? He corner hooked himself. Look at his smile. I think. No. Ooh. Oh, he's corner hooked all right. Boy, look he at that a... shot. Look at that. Look at that shot. That's beautiful. Yeah. You see the measles clearly. Oh. Is it contagious? Only if you touch it. Oh, look at that. He had a shot on it. That was a mus that was a Moscone. He's down in the floor. He's looking around the point. Can he hit it? I don't know. Oh, my God. Can he hit it? Ah, he was straight in the whole time. Come on. You have shared with me many times that Moscone would do that just for the crowd. Now, why are you wincing like that? You never said that? No. Oh, okay. Uh, five ball in the corner. Shape on the six ball in the lower left-hand corner. Tick, tack, toe. Three more okay. to go. What I did say is Moscone would have a dead one and act like he was safe, walk around, shake his head, look. And then when he shot the dead one, the people were amazed. Oh, that's funny. That's nothing like what I said. I know, but that's what I have said. Seven ball on the side. Uh, just shoot it in and play the nine ball on the opposite side, or is he going to travel a little bit? He's going to travel. With the little reverse, that made it come straight back to the nine. Nine in the side. Cortez now extending his lead to two games to zero, zero over countryman Dennis Arcuyo. This is how the first set started. Yeah. And then Orcola fought back and got in the match. In lost 9-7. Uh, I hope at some point uh, we're, we're able to get a camera shot of Carlo Beato, Warren Kiamko, and um, Wang Khan. They're sitting on the back row underneath the Southern Classic sign. That is a, that is a, a trio of talent back there in the back row. That's a, That's a trifecta. Trifecta, no kidding. That's an exacta. Is that? No, uh, three no? is a trifecta. Three. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Two is an exacta. Two is an exacta. See, you would know that if you gambled, but like I said, you don't gamble. I don't trust you. Well. What does he, what does he have on uh, the three ball? Bank it perpendicular all the way behind the nine, maybe. Go behind the seven? Well, no, because you got to cut it a little. You're not going that path, you know. Oh. The, you got to cut it a little bit. What about cutting the three in? Does it go in? Well, if he does that, the people will howl. And he tried something like that, but it didn't work. I don't think he was thinking of safety, especially my safety. He uh. wants to get nine. He wants it quick. I don't think he wants to stall and play safe. Yeah, he wants to see if he can get Dennis to tap out. Which is referring to ultimate fighting. Surrender no mas. Two rail back kick the three ball downstairs. Stick the cue ball right there. Boom. Down table. And he didn't get downstairs nearly enough. And potentially, eh, he's not going to play the combination. He's going to uh, cut the three ball in the lower left hand corner pocket. But it was getting, it was beginning to look interesting there for a moment. Well, he won't play the combination because of where the cue ball is going when you cut the three. It, and if he uh, shoots it in, I think he's going to glance behind the six and seven. I don't think he's going to like it, especially if he misses it. Where are you going, three? He didn't miss it yet. Yes, he did. It ran out of gas. Ran out of gas. Yeah. Well, he don't want to win getting lucky anyway, no. right? No, absolutely <laughs> not. No, he really probably doesn't. Uh, hit the shoots the three ball in the upper left hand corner with a high left ball, and uh, that's going to flatten the cue ball out just a little bit. He really would like to hit it with enough spin uh, where he doesn't have to deal with the eight. But uh, Dave, that, this is a road map. This is a road map. Connect the dots. Okay. A cosmo. It's all that. Look. Does the six four ball, to the five to yeah. the six. Sample. 
seven, eight gets to the nine. Three something. It, it, it's connect the dots. Until you double kiss all, off of the eight out of position. <laughs> I don't know. Are you pulling for that or just commenting? No, it was an observation. The cue ball is a half an inch off of the cushion. My opinion, that's out of position. Yeah, I think he'll handle it. Pure as a driven snow. The five ball went in. Pure as a driven snow. Play the six ball in long the corner. corner. And he'll have the angle on the seven to get to the eight. Nicely done. Look at the angle. The eight gets to the nine without even thinking about it. Speaking of playing nine ball, that's a good way to play. Don't even think about it. In other words, get out of your own way and let all of your practice and experience get the job done. Let your instincts take over instead of your thinking. Well, now Dennis Orcoyo with the pocketing of the nine ball reduces Cortez's lead by exactly half. Game score, Cortez a two, Orcuyo one. And uh, the Danny, tell us uh, what the number is in the tan oval that's near the game okay. score. That's the total performance average. And uh, Cortez shooting a 10, or Cola, who's behind, has a better number, 833. You come up with the uh, total performance average, also referred to as the TPA, by using the number of balls pocketed in conjunction with the number of errors made, which uh, the errors reduce your score from a perfect 1,000 to whatever number that uh, oh look at that, that it kiss. is, and uh, you know, well, this is going to be a running total with every ball pocketed. Those numbers will change but they are affected, your TPA is affected negatively by the following things. A missed shot, a scratch on the break, a missed kick, a safety error, or a position error. Yep. He shot it. He's got it in the corner. Very nicely done. Just uh, roll down, uh, roll down a foot or so for position on the four in the lower right corner. Yeah, he's, he's playing quick. Do you have to wait till the ball stops? You do. You can't shoot a ball while another ball is rolling. Although Lou Butera did <laughs> that. You know, Lou Butera is like fastest player maybe ever. Machine and, gun Lou. And one time I saw him shoot the nine and the seven hung. <laughs> Seriously. Wow. If you believe that, I'm going to sell you some waterfront property. Oh, I know you wouldn't lie to me. You'd tell it to me four or five ways before you'd lie to me. No, I don't lie. I fib. And uh, that was, uh, he made quick work of that rack, that's for sure. Now, all tied up. Dennis Ocoyo, two. Lee Van Corteza, two. And, uh... And Orcola just got in the 900. Two twos, now a race to seven. There's Corteza. He's either looking tired or unhappy that Orcola's breaking with the score tight. Well, Dennis has, uh, you know, his, his pace of play and just his uh, overall body language is is uh, a lot more positive right now uh, than it than it has been. He made the corner ball on the break. Watch the scratch. No scratch. Where no are scratch. you one? This is called position while you wait. <laughs> yeah, wait for the balls to keep falling in. He stopped the cue ball, and the one came over. Pretty good. I think he's going to draw this. He'll, he might play the two in, in the uh, corner where he's going to be standing right now. But he can go to the side also. He got the corner. Roll forward now. You'll have the four in the side. 
If you get straight in, that'll be perfect. Oh, he's playing the combination, isn't he? No, no maybe I, not. No, I, maybe not. Well, the way it looked right here, he's not happy about whatever he did. He is. Uh, we've 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 had a stoppage on the shot clock. Apparently, there's uh, something on the cue ball that Dennis wants removed. Ken Schumann, tournament director extraordinaire, now cleaning the cue ball. Um, I think that he can cut the four ball in the corner and hit it with a, a low ball and go to the side rail and back out for a position on the five. I, I just don't think that the combination is uh, is on enough for him to shoot at it. No, he's not. He's not reaching this too well either. No, he sure isn't. Look at this. It looks very flimsy. Overcut and he it. He missed it because it looked flimsy. <laughs> he was in, his body position was what not. What does flimsy mean? All right, go ahead. Not sturdy. <laughs> he needed the bridge. He needed the bridge. He did, but he's in such a hurry, he didn't want to stop to get the bridge and waste time. He already stopped to have the ball cleaned, get the bridge at yeah, the same time. Yeah, but he time. didn't want two stops. Oh, no stoppages? No, one stop's enough. Now Corteza banking the four ball across the corner, perhaps two rails. Oh, what a break that was. I know he didn't Certainly play was. the two-railer. He gestured to Dennis. Oh, He's Dennis, sorry. I am so sorry. I'm yeah. sorry, old buddy, old pal. He said, I'm sorry, but I hope I do it seven more times. I'm sorry, old buddy, old pal. Sit down. Follow this ball two rails out of the corner. Or maybe just draw it straight back. Yeah, I, he's going to draw I it. See. I don't think it's going to the pocket. I see. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I, 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 it, it, it appeared initially to me that he had a, a little bit of an angle, but uh, upon further review, he was dead straight in. And with the pocketing of the nine ball, Lee Van Corteza now resumes his lead three games to two over Dennis Okuyo. Right now they're trading punches. Well, I mentioned it in in the in the semifinal match that included these two competitors that um Dennis, I, b I believe, is, a, is about five feet four inches tall, and Corteza is about five seven, five eight ish, uh, somewhere in that range. And um, while you know th they're both used to used to stretching out a lot and reaching for shots and, and all that kind of thing, but um, they're also both very adept at using the bridge. And I'm, I'm a little bit surprised. Hey, we, that was a judgment. They were adept shooting behind her back also. Yeah, Cortez really, uh, he just, he looks cool shooting the ball behind his back. Oh. Nine ball almost went in the side pocket, which would count. Uh, the nine ball on the break does not count in the two pockets closest to the foot spot. Well, anyway, he made the one and two, and he has the shot. At the three. Can he go forward and dislodge the five eight? Or does the five pass the eight? I don't believe the five ball passes the eight ball. Um, I, I think I, I like your shot. The risk with the shot is it, that he gets trapped behind the nine no ball. Position. On the other hand, if he draws the cue ball to the side yeah, you know, he's going at he's he's going at the ball. No. Okay, I, I like what he did. He's going to play the four ball in the upper left-hand corner pocket. He has a very nice angle to go three cushions and break out the five and eight. Well, I'll call it two cushions because the third one doesn't matter. There we go. I don't think he hit it. Okay, you know what? Does he have a shot? at the five and the side off the seven. Because he might have been looking mm. at that, too. I, I think he has that. 
I don't think he can hit enough of the five ball. It's uh, very he, difficult to see from here. Uh, wh what he may have instead is a cross side five ball bank or a safety. Yeah, he has a two rail bank and go behind the seven, eight, and nine. Right. I don't mean to shoot it, but just to, to play the safety. He could hit it straight on and it might go behind the seven and nine far away. I like that shot. I do, too. If he can't make the five and side off the seven. I I'm like that. And I'm not going to try to do anything fancy with the cue ball. I'm going to stick the ball right That's there. That's all you and, have to do. And only can try to control the speed of the five ball. Right. If he double banks it towards, and even if he makes it in that other corner, he will have a shot. Yep. Had it gone, he did have now, a shot. Now, Dennis Okuyo is, uh, he's changing shafts. Oh. Uh, what? Oh, uh, I don't know about this. It has a different kind of all, tip. This seems I'm, to be illegal. I'm, he's I'm not confused. Jumping, he's not jumping with, with the cue that he's playing with. I, uh, there, every it. other player in the tournament is going. I, I, if you were at the meeting, you know you can't jump with anything but the cue you're playing. But he changed the shaft even. I, that that seems to be a little dirty. Well, earlier we saw Corteza use his break cue to jump with, and in that situation, we saw Dennis change his whole shaft. It's a good thing I didn't pay my entry fee. Because if I were sitting in the stands and saw that, I've got an issue. I'm speaking up, and I didn't pay an entry fee either. Six ball in the corner, uh, shaping Great the shot. seven ball in the side pocket. He's going to hit this with a just a rolling ball, shaping the eight in the lower left-hand corner. Where is he going? <laughs> Where is he going? Well, I thought it was well, too he, thin to do what you called. I thought he'd go to the end rail and then come back with right-hand English. Whatever he did, it turned out okay. I thought he was going to elevate and stick right there off of the nine ball. That's what I thought he was going to do, but he just like, turned the cue ball loose. You know what I think? I think that he wanted to shoot the seven ball quickly so nobody saw him Well, we saw use him. a jump cue. Let's see it again. Yeah. Now let's watch the jump shot. Can we see the shaft change also? It, well, we didn't there see we go. that, but it is a different shaft with a different tip. I think that was illegal. I'm going to call it illegal, folks. And that's what I thought Kenny was stopping him for, to tell him, hold it, you can't jump with that shaft. Well, um, my, feeling about, my feeling about that... Uh, I don't think it's up to, it's certainly not, uh, uh, disregard Ken for a moment, it's certainly not up to Corteza to say, hey, wait a minute, you can't use your jump, you can't use a jump cue. It's not up to the other player to tell you you're about to foul. Because it's, it's up to the player to call the tournament director. If I'm Corteza, Less, this is a separate situation. If I'm Corteza and Dennis is getting ready to shoot at the five ball and the four ball is still on the table, it's not Corteza's responsibility to tell Dennis he's about to commit a foul. He lets him commit the foul and says the four ball was on the table, takes ball in hand, and continues to shoot. That's my point, is that it's not up to the opposing player to, to, to let you know that you're about to commit a foul. So that's, I feel, a similar situation. Corteza, you know, I mean, let's, let's just say he get out a, a, a regular 40-inch jump cue. It's not up to him to say, hey, you can't use that. His responsibility is to, is to let him shoot and then call the foul. Okay, but whatever he did, he knew that that shaft was going to get him a little better chance to jump, yep. which I think is illegal. Okay, uh, game score, Levan Corteza 3, Dennis Orcuyo 3, 
and uh, we'll get to uh, the updated TPA in just a moment after we see what he does with this tricky he, one ball. He's playing safe. That's what he's doing. Well, well there's I no was more, wrong. There's he's no, shot. There's no more safe than cutting it in, Well, he which is what he tried to do. He didn't quite leave the one, but I think Cortez can play a good safe off this. He can bank this to the middle of the end rail and go all the way down behind the two, five, eight, seven, nine. That's the shot, I believe. Yeah. For a dollar or a donut, shoot mm. that. Oh, you shoot. said you said donut. I want a donut. Well, he hit it a lot harder than I would have expected, but he got the result him. is the same. Uh, although this is about a sixty percent make kick uh, in the lower left-hand corner pocket. Uh, you on to hit the rail and cut that ball in? Yes. What a tough shot! But these are world champions. But I don't. I don't really like that call. But we'll see what happens. No country kicks better, better than the Philippines. Is that? Well, no. why isn't he getting <laughs> up doing it? He's uh, worried about the path of the cue ball right. for position. If, he, if for he, position. he happens to make it, he uh, could be snookered. But he has to hit it. That's the main thing. See, I didn't think he could get in there and cut it. And I think he's sold out now. Well, a Lee Van will cut the one in the lower left-hand corner pocket and swing the cue ball around. It has a very narrow gap uh, between the four and the five ball and that's the position route that I think he's going to take. Yeah, that's where he's going. Between the four and the five. And going to the side pocket. Look at that shot. Yeah, But he beautiful. got on the rail again, and he doesn't have the angle to easily go to the four ball unless he shoots the four in the far corner. Or he could play it in the opposite side. Well, pocket. that could be a good shot because you don't have any position to play. You know, if you had to travel a lot off this shot, it wouldn't be a good shot. Yeah. But I think he can go one rail now, a little left-hand English high, and go to the five. Well, this may be a situation where um, he drops below uh, the position of the nine ball and plays the five either in the left-hand side or all the way up. Watch out. Well, he did very well with that shot. Yeah, he sure did. He didn't like rolling it and going one rail with reverse English. Well, five ball in the side pocket, and the cue ball is going to travel all, all the way up to the end rail and back down toward the six. And now he's, uh, he's finally in a little bit better line than he has been for the last several shots. But he's uh, about four and a half, five feet away from the six ball. and uh, He's got a pretty good angle, though. I don't expect yeah. him to miss it. Well, he would have liked to have been a little fuller, but I think he'll play the eight in the same corner as the seven. Or if he's a little bit thinner, he can play it in the side pretty oh, he easily. he got good. He put a little reverse, perfect. Lee Van Cortez drawing the cue ball back to the cushion and toward the nine. Straight in. A favorite shot of yours and mine. Oh, yeah, I make this... Nine out of ten. <laughs> and when I'm on the hill, Pop. That, I'm, I missed and I lost the match. A center cut. Uh, Cortez now leading four games to three. Uh, I'm going to touch just a, a moment on the TPA. Cortez now at an 868 clip and Dennis Orcuyo at 857. And that's indicative of being one ahead. Yep. Close score, close TPA. And, of course, we are race to nine. Finals, 2013 Southern Classic, nine ball division. Yeah. Ball's pocketed, close, air is tie. It, it's all indicative of, of the PTA or TPA. I'm thinking of 
Teachers Associate, PTA, same letters, but a little mixed. Am I in trouble? Why? You're going to send me to the PTA? Oh. Lee Van Broke. And made dry. No, made noise. Rarely. That's been a rare occurrence uh, uh, since You're we've right. been watching him play, that's for sure. The table has been pretty generous on the break. I just wanted to make sure that the the four ball was going to stop rolling but not fall on the side before well, I said anything. Look at the way the three and the, uh, and the six don't, lined up. I don't think that's much of a problem at all. I think... No, uh, she's perfect. Dennis Pockets combination. The, the only person I feel that Pockets combinations better than Dennis is Earl Strickland. And he's not here. Does that mean I should leave him out? Well, that's how I feel. I don't like talking about players that aren't here unless it's a funny story. Three, so you six, go ahead. It's okay. You could mention Earl Strickland. Does he, is he going to get the bridge? Now he's, now he's creeping around for the bridge because by not using it earlier, it cost him a game. At <laughs> least one game. Well, what's he going to do? Play for a bank? Side pocket on the four. Okay. And he got there. But not easily. He got a little thinner cut than he wanted. He really just to make, needs to make sure he uh, avoids the seven ball right here. And he does that by hitting the cue ball with a center left ball. And he's going to swing the cue ball around table. Cue ball... Anywhere from a line between the nine and the five and the five and the side. And anywhere he, in that little triangle. He glanced at the seven. Cue ball winds up anywhere in that triangle that the nine, five, and four make right now. Perfect. Oh, looking at the monitor, that's a little thin. I'm yeah, sorry. That, yeah, this is no big deal. He might hit the seven. That wouldn't help. Oh, he almost hit the pocket. That wouldn't have helped, and does he have a shot at <laughs> no, all? No, he is hooked. He is hooked semi -hooked, by the nine. Semi-hooked. He's going to cut at it to the left-hand corner, I believe. That's what he did, and what a shot. He struck it beautifully. Well, he didn't get perfect on the seven either. It's a thin hit. You know, he's not going to be snookered if he makes it. Just got to make it and get the cue ball to stop right. A little left spin, zigzag, two rails back and forth inside the, uh, the nine ball. Good shot. Uh, I think I mentioned the shot clock for the viewers. Uh, obviously, the countdown timer starts at 40 seconds, and you have that's how long you have to execute a shot, and there's one extension per rack. Dennis pocketing the nine ball, once again tying the score at four games apiece. We're playing a race to five for all the cookies. No, I think they're going to get money, not cookies. Or they would be some really good cookies. Okay, we're going to let us see that shot that he made on the five. Whew! That's a real good shot, especially under the circumstances. And they, it wasn't too bad cutting the seven in either, but he, he did a remarkable thing there, especially the heat of a final match. He's got ice water in his veins. Corner ball on the break. Uh, uh, one ball coming around, but the seven ball could be trouble. It's close. It's, it's really close. close. He might be able to make it, and if he does, he may have a shot on the three. I don't, he can't draw the ball well, anyway. Ken Schumann coming over to make sure that he doesn't graze the one ball, excuse me, seven ball, and attempting to make the one. He didn't. No, and he missed. He got sharked by the seven, and he overcut the ball, but he got a snooker out of it. 
Are we going to see a jump? Cue ball close to the rail really helps out a lot. He's looking, um, he's lining up for the jump, which he's done very well so far. Oop, well, cue ball I got on the him. floor. <laughs> he said, you he, got him. He, yeah, I got him. He went right off the table, and Orcola rushes to the table to shoot. Well, I still contend he's trying to do it so quickly as, as to hope no one notices. Ooh. Three ball in the upper right-hand corner. A little right-hand spin will flatten out the cue ball a bit and uh, position on the four ball in the lower left. Yeah, he got good on this. Got an easy enough shot, full enough to draw it to the five ball. Let's draw it up He's past good. the six. He's good. Well, he might have to get the bridge again. Oh, there goes the stretch with the long bridge. He made it, no problem. He's falling nicely on the six ball in the lower right-hand yeah. corner. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Get straight in on the seven or one rail. Depends which side he wants to play the eight in, I mean the corner. Yeah, I like playing on the short side of the eight from here and playing it in the lower right-hand corner. No, he did two rails. Watch out. Mm. Okay. Had he brushed the nine, it could have been disaster. Instead, he's fine. Well, he's not going to... That was optimistic. He's not going to be that close to the nine. He's going to play the nine, same pocket as the eight. Yeah, but... but yeah. And now Dennis Arcuyo taking the lead of five games to four. And we are enjoying, well, I am thoroughly enjoying the nine ball finals at the Southern Classic. We're at the wonderful Harris Hotel Casino and Event Center in Tunica, Mississippi, not too far from Memphis. So uh, if you couldn't make it here this year, uh, if you want to try to make it next year, that's where you would be flying into. It's not too far from the Memphis airport. And, uh, you know, really a, a terrific location. Everything you need right under the roof. It's about 30 miles from Memphis. Two balls on the wing. Let's see if he makes it. Right in the pocket. Uh, four ball also on the break. Now let's where see what happens one? with the five and the one. I don't think he's got it. He might have Dennis rail first. Close. He might have rail first. Now Dennis is shaking his head, and uh, let's see. From from, I know we're a long way off, but I I think he can hit it. I think he can hit enough of it to make it also. But oh, he might be able to. But it's really close. Well, he's getting ready to shoot it. Go two rails to the three. Well, which pocket does he? Would he play the three in? The uh, where his head is pointing to that uh, corner, past the eight. Very good. It. It. it went in though. But there you are. He's on the three. He's Very holding nice. up so well here. Yeah. He doesn't like to get beat twice to blow a tournament. Nicely done. Watch out. Seven. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like drawing this ball to the end rail and back out to the middle of the table. That he, take that takes any risk of hooking again, yourself by the seven out of the equation. Again, the seven, he got by it. You know what seven I mean? Seven almost got him I mean, twice. 
That's why I would have gone to the end rail and gone to, uh, straight toward the six. Uh, that would have been great judgment, but even though he did it opposite of you, he, he looks like he's going to get out. Uh, he's going to hit this with just a straight draw ball, float over past the center of the table with the cue ball. Oh, he may not even have to do that. No, I take he, that back. No, he's yeah. going to play the eight. And, yeah. Yeah, he didn't have to do it. He didn't have much work to do there. Yeah, I, I looked at it on the monitor. I, I thought the eight and the nine were a little closer together. Uh, he's uh, falling nicely on the nine ball. Nine down, extending his lead. Now six games to four. Dennis over Lee Van. And he's also uh, elevated his TPA to over 900 at 9.05. And, uh, you know, we are, we are really getting down to the nitty-gritty now. There are only a few games left in this final match. Victor, yet to be determined. And not only is it the final match of nine ball, it's the final match of the tournament. This week has gone by extremely quickly for me. I've been here two weeks, and it went by pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And it's been a very interesting tournament. A lot of super play. And we got only a few more games left. Corner well, ball on the break. Where are you, one? Nothing else down, but he has a pretty tough situation to deal with uh, with the one ball. Now, if he doesn't like cutting at the one ball, it's pretty easy to back kick the one up table, and he's got a lot of traffic. Well, how about shooting it straight on if you're going to play safe? I think he can hit it straight on, and it's going to go behind a two, six, eight. You know, position is mm -hmm. so tough here. I like playing safe. But he's down there, one of the greatest players in the game. I would shoot straight on, but that's because I'd be dogging it. I think it's easier for myself. It's easier to control the speed of the one ball by back kicking it up table. He's cutting at it. Yeah, he definitely is. He doesn't want Cortez to get back to the table even for a kick. And uh, he hit it fat. Yeah, that's why I liked That was not an easy shot. He had a pretty good save. Well, Cortez is happy to be back at the table. Yeah, he certainly is. Uh, he's going to play off of, uh, well, when he eventually gets down to shoot the one, he's going to play off of the right side of the one, two cushions, and the cue ball is going to stay on line for position for the two for for quite a while, I think he can control not yeah, always. He's, he's got a big target. You know, after he hits that second rail, he's in line for quite a ways. There it is. There it is. He's going to hit the six, but he's going to be okay, I think. I don't know. Tough to see from here, but I think he's got it. Body language tells me he's got it. Uh, if the four ball doesn't pass the nine ball... He may elect to play the four ball in the right-hand side pocket. Let's see where he goes. Hmm. Well, that was a little bit peculiar. I don't think the four ball passes, and now he's probably going to play the four ball in the corner past the seven. Yeah, which means an already uh, small pocket got smaller with well, that seven. He's also got some work to do with the cue ball. I mean, he's probably, he's going to hit the ball below center with a little bit of right-hand spin and go three cushions for the five. Look at that shot. That's he made that look shot. easy. That was That's not easy. That's a great shot. Yeah. And he didn't have a real full pocket. Yeah. You know, besides all the talent these guys have, they have tons of heart. <laughs> no question. That's why they're in the finals. Well, he's falling nicely on the six. Six in the side. He'll go all the way down to the seven. Now the cue ball is probably, yeah, just uh, just drop below the nine ball. Make sure you don't wind up on the cushion. Or straight. 
tough to be straight in when the seven is that close to the pocket. Hold it. What kind of speed is this? 50 yard line speed. Mm. Uh, that, that's it. Mm. 50 yard line speed. You know what's scary? When this is a... Uh this is as close to not getting out as it gets, you know. It's like, oh, we got six inches out of line. Ooh, it's uh, they've He's just gonna been going to go three rails again. Yeah, they've just been playing beautifully. Watch outside pocket. Oh, he drew it one rail. I was wrong. I said three rails. He went one rail, and he did it perfectly. Well, he's not. He's not gonna. He's he's not going down without a fight, and he's not gonna let Dennis, uh, uh, you know, stretch his lead out any more. If he can help it, that's for sure. And with the pocketing of the nine ball, Corteza only trailing by one game, five games to six. And his break. Well, not a soul has left the building since about, I don't know, mid-afternoon. The, uh, the... The, the quality of play is, has kept all the fans riveted in their seats, and justifiably so. And, I, and I, like I said, I predict the Hill Hill ending, which the people will love. Oh, the break got fickle. The break mm. got fickle. He's got mm. the one. And he's got a combination. Two four. Well, he's a little upset there. He didn't make a ball. A lot of action. Well, the cue ball is going to be going into the gap between the eight ball and the six ball, and to avoid both of them is a pretty tall order. Now, let's see oh. how Dennis deals with this. I know. It looks to me like he's got to hit the eight. Well, if, if he hits it with just a tiny bit of pace, I think the cue ball will glance off just enough to miss the eight. But he's going to have to hit it with just a touch of inside spin to avoid the cue ball then running into the six. So this is really tricky. It is. It is. And, you know, and that combination is not straight in. You're going to have to cut that four ball with the two. Then you've got to worry about where the two will be. Well, if he, getting the cue ball down past the side pocket, definitely not a bad thing. Well, if he can miss the eight. And the six. Well, he did both of them. Now, where are you going, cue ball? Three ball, three ball, three ball, no. No, he's All got right. the combination. Okay, where do you play the two? Because that's a thin hit. Well, he's going to play. He's going to roll this. Uh, I think he can roll it softly enough that he can play the two ball in the upper left-hand corner. Or in the side. Oh, he hit it, oh, a, little, no. he hit it no. a lot harder than I oh, thought my he was God. going to. Well, what do you do now? The two passes, I think. Does the two pass the five? I think it does. Wow. Or Cole's looking. You know, when they shut one eye, you know he's looking. <laughs> that, makes, that just means he's not using his depth perception. That doesn't make sense. Does it go? Yeah, sure it does. Whoa! He wow! He shot it through the side of you know the, of the pocket that it went in. Oh oh! Well, he had to shoot it all the way into the narrow facing of the pocket. Now that was he, very well, impressive he did accuracy. It, he did it. You yeah. know, and he played it that way. Now, where does the five go? Does it go by the six? He's going to go between the six and the eight right here. Well, probably, but probably not. Oh, well, the five must pass it the must. six then. It okay. must. It must. You don't want to hit the six because you'll lose position on the six. Are you going to roll this or are you going to hit oh, it with I enough pace it. to I clear roll the eight? It. I roll it. And he rolled it. Can he cheat the pocket and go two rails forward? I don't know. He doesn't look like... He, oh, he can go... I can free cut it. Can go, and go one rail because there's an angle to go one rail. He's keeping a very nice angle on the seven ball to swing around three cushions for the eight 
in the upper right-hand corner. Yeah, I've been calling that, but they've been coming backwards two hmm. rails. Oh, I can see how he's queuing. That's what he's doing it again. Uh, he's just south side, and I'm not pulling for anyone. No. I just don't want someone to lose because of something like that. Does he have enough angle just to just to float the cue ball straight down table? No, he can punch it over. Oh, okay. Nicely done. Cue ball spinning on a very nice line for position on the nine ball. And Dennis Okuyo now extending his lead. Seven games to five over, once again, countryman and good friend Lee Van Corteza. And it's a good time to get ahead, too. Because now the guy has to really beat you four to one. I mean, I, I know we're getting close to the end of the match, but they're playing so great. I don't want to see them. I don't. I, do they have? Can they play another set? Dave, I'm, I'm <laughs> you starting hit me to with think <laughs> you're a pool nut. <laughs> hey. Well, okay. Guilty as charged. Levan, not all that happy about the uh, on uh, goings on right now. That's for sure. Six ball is on the wing, and it has gone with uh, regularity the last several matches, especially. And it went in again. Nice cue ball Where control. Are you, one? That seven hit the one and made this a little bit tricky now. I think it's too thin a hit mm. to try to cut in. Mm hmm. And he doesn't have the perpendicular bank that I keep calling all the time. Yeah, it doesn't look like a, it. Doesn't look like a, it looks like the three ball has him blocked for that just a little bit. It does. So what do you do? Uh, I may try to play uh, play safe using the seven and three as blockers. You mean hit about a third of the one and try to go behind the three and seven. Yeah, that's okay. a, that's a possibility. I mean, if he if he can't if he's not in a position to get more separation, I mean, ideally you would you would rather have a hook and more separation, but that might not be possible. Now he's going to cut it thin on the right and go all the way down behind the two five. No, he's going towards. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Yeah, he didn't okay. go. I think he left the hit. Yeah, the seven didn't quite uh, get Corteza. Yeah, not only did he leave a hit, but he also left the same safety. Then off of the right side of the one and uh, to drop the cue ball down table. Let's see if he hits it super thin, where the one ball moves less than a ball distance. Mm, that's not going to happen. Hey, he banked it. <laughs> Look at that shot. Holy God. And this Boy, is kind of what I've been talking about. If you don't have a good safe, shoot at a white flag. That's and, what he did that's there. that's what he did. And it turned out good. Well, looking at the result, in hindsight, it did have a little bit of a safety element. Because even if he had hung the one up, the three is in, the, in line with the cue ball. Yeah, you're right. Well, because of where the five is, he can't get real close to the three. But so he went forward, <laughs> and he got on the 50-yard line. Now. Draw the cue ball to the side cushion and out a foot or so. Oh, hey, oh he needs to go even further. I, I take that back. I, I swapped uh, the four and the five. The four is on the left-hand side cushion. Yeah, he's going to go... Three rails to it. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And off the cushion a foot or so. Perfect. Now he's just got to avoid the side pocket, and he's going to have a chance to get close to uh, Orcolo. Watch out for the side pocket. That's all you got to do. And he was aware of it, but he didn't quite get to the well, he was so afraid of the side pocket that he underhit it. So now we're going to see some safety play. I don't think he's banking this anywhere. 
No, I don't think the I don't think the five ball goes by the eight. So he's going to bank the five ball to the middle of the end rail and cue ball all the way upstairs. Hopefully, uh, for him, using the seven as a blocker. He didn't get him. And I know you people out there are thinking, well, he's got a shot, but he doesn't. Mm. You know, this is not a shooting situation unless you don't have a safe. He's, he's just going gonna... right behind the eight. Shooting stick right there. Oh, he hit this softly. He didn't quite get him on the eight. I don't no. know. Yeah, but he, I think he left the hit on it, but I don't think, I don't think Cortez has a shot. I'm surprised how he shot that, aren't you? Yeah. I thought he was going to shoot it with some pace and, and just float the cue ball over with draw under the eight. Well, he's got a safe, beautiful shot. Get it to the end rail, though. Oh, well, he does. He got that. him with the seven. Yep, sure did. Good shot, and the people appreciate it. Well, now Dennis... He's doing it again. He put that shaft on to jump it with. I don't. I, I don't want to talk about that anymore. Well, I do. <laughs> I uh, do, but Kenny seems to think it's okay. Uh, Dennis will elevate about forty-five degrees or so, jumping the cue ball over the seven ball. The crowd's going to go crazy when he makes it. Oh, or scratches. Nicole is going to go crazy oh, when or he gets... misses, but look where the five <laughs> stopped. Lucky nine ball. I love nine ball. Now, now uh, I think he's going to play safe. Yeah, behind the seven. Behind the seven. He underhit it slightly, I no, think. No, he got him, he I got think. Him. He got him. Well. And especially that ball hit the nine and went further behind he might have a cut at this. This is uh, this is tough. No, he's using the um, he's using the swerve cue. The suspense was killing me. Oh, he's going to he hit gonna the hook nine. Him? He's going to hit. No, is he, he going to hook him? Oh, no, not quite. Oh, very close. Not quite. Now, uh, Lee Van, you better get it done here, brother. Time's a wasting. Yeah, he got good on this shot. He he's going to go to the seven, and then I think two rails. Yeah. Oh, I I thought so too. It just he he must not have had quite as much angle as as uh, we thought. Yeah, he's going to have two rail shot to the eight in that corner. Drop underneath the nine ball. He's done nicely. Yeah. Maintaining a, a little angle. He'll just draw straight back to the cushion and bounce out. Oh, now he's going to double cross me again. He's going to go forward two cushions and uh, straight in on he the nine. He could have did that. He could have drew it. He could have stopped and shot the nine in the side also. Nice to have options. Yeah, he had three of them. Yeah. And with the pocketing of the nine ball. Yeah. No big surprise. This is a close match. Uh, Corteza now at six games, or Coyo at seven. Now they're they're playing at a respectable clip. I mean, if if you didn't know the TPA of the last several days that the feature table has uh, the the matches on the feature table, you would go, oh, eight seventy five, not too bad. Eight ninety five, uh, that's pretty good. Well, eight ninety five to eight seventy five means a one game lead, just like it is. But in relation to what we've seen over the last several days on the, the, the AccuStats table, they're dogging it badly. It Although they're still the playing great. <laughs> they're still yeah, playing they're great. They're not dogging it. They're just not playing super duper. And like we say, anything over 850 is still respectable. Well, Lee Van Corteza has made an adjustment on his break position. He's moved the cue ball out about four inches or so from where he had been breaking the balls. I have no idea why. There goes the eight. There goes the two. They're chasing each other in the pocket. Yep. Uh, but he can does he have a billiard? Is he going to cut at the one? Well, I like the billiard provided 
he can hit it softly enough to control the one. Yeah. Which I, I think he can. Well, you can also go right in the pocket with the two. Another reason to shoot it softly. Oh, oh he, he missed the two and left the one. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh oh is right. Bad time for this. <laughs> uh oh is right. Yeah, no problem going to the four, to the five, six. I think uh, I can guess and say that Orcola is going to get on the hill. Oh, the run out from, percentage from here is about 98.6. And you're saying that 1.4, is he, he hit doesn't a get is he, out. Is he hit a piece of chalk unintentionally on the table? Yeah. I don't, I don't think, let's put it this way, I don't think Dennis is going to do anything to cause Dennis not to get out here. I think there would have to be some kind of out, outside influence. Uh, these balls yeah. are, are laying very nicely. Uh oh see, Did you see the four <laughs> hit the piece of chalk? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Corteza, you're alive, buddy. And I'm not favoring anybody, you know, but it's tough to see a great player hang the ball up when he's going to get on the hill. Oh, boy. But it, it creates excitement and suspense. Now, it's obvious that I didn't have anything to do with that. No, I feel bad. No, you, I feel bad. You jinxed It's like, what, did I days. shark the guy? Did you I, jinxed I, 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 <sighs> You see... A shark, you'd have to let let him hear you talking. But yeah. a jinx, you could think a jinx. That explains something stupid. Well, five ball in the corner. Now six ball on the side. Seven corner, nine corner. And uh, a very, very surprising and potentially very, very costly yeah. he might turn not of events get to the right table there. Again. Yeah. Yeah, Cortez is going to need two games after this and his break, man. I'd hate to be sitting there. Do you know the prize money breakdown between first and second? No. Well, an interesting time to bring that up now that the score hey. is tied. Seven games apiece in so a race tonight. It's TPA tied. Look at it. 875 and 875. That's, That's tied. <laughs> That's you know, nice. Pretty uh, tight. That's nice symmetry. That's a uh, that's good. I like symmetry. That's where they bury people, isn't it? A symmetry. Look at this. Wow! Huge disparity in balls pocketed, fifty-six to fourteen. But the game score tied at seven. The errors is what uh, sticks out there. Orcuyo has ten errors, and uh, Corteza has eight. Okay, this is going to get really exciting because I predicted a hill hill, you know. I mean, but I never thought Arcola would miss that five ball. Oh, something went. Where are you, one? Straight there you in. are, one. Oh, Straight oh. in, tic tac toe. Oh, look, look at the road map here. Wow. Can uh, I wish, well, I wish I could see Dennis. Not because I just. He always looks so stoic, whether he's you, winning yeah. or losing. Uh, okay. I, I just can't imagine what just happened, not having some influence on <laughs> your... It would certainly have an influence on my facial expression. Well, the thing is, he can't do nothing about it. He's just got to hope the guy doesn't get out two games. Two ball, somewhat thin cut in the corner. No problem with shape. It's uh, on the four ball because it's dripping in the side. Yep. I really don't see any problem. Run out. But I said that about Dennis Orcola, too, and he didn't get out. Oh, he's going to really regret that. And he dwells on that one. You know, he might not get back to the table. Well, he could have got a little straighter. Can he kill it? I think just hitting it softly with a little bit of a, a right-hand ball, and he's going to be fine. 
Yeah, because he needs that angle to get to the 8 anyway. You don't need an angle on the 8 because the 9 is right there. Yeah, slightly beyond straight in Roll is good. Roll this in, you got the perfect angle. There it is. He's moving around fast. He, <laughs> he's starting to see the goal line, that's Man. why. Well, Nicely he done. didn't exactly get straight in on the eight, so he's got to do a little something. Probably play the eight and nine in the same pocket. Floating over nicely for the nine ball, as you mentioned, in the same pocket, but don't get too close to the cushion. No, he's perfect. He can cue the ball. It's a pretty easy shot. Lee Van Van, the slayer, Cortezza, first one on the hill. Uh, now eight games over Dennis Orcuyo, a.k.a. Robocop, to seven. Uh, the TPA also reflecting a one-game lead, 890 Levan, 875 for Okuyo. And the tournament's almost over, so one more time, I'm going to say Pat Fleming, and he invented that uh, TPA many years ago. Uh-oh, Orcola, now, that looks sad, doesn't it? That looks sad. Yes. He's biting his lip. Yep. And uh, while we have just a second for racking, uh, you know, Danny, it's been great working with you this week. I, we've enjoyed some really terrific pool. It's been long days and close proximity. And uh, as always, always a, a terrific job. And, of course, the listeners always appreciate what you do. I also want to mention uh, some of the AccuStats Arena sponsors while we have just a second. OBQs, great product, uh, Kamui Tips and Chalk, also terrific products, and our signature sponsors, Diamond Billiard Products, Aramith, and Simonis. And I'll mention a couple of, of others uh, when I have just a second during this, uh, this game. Corner ball, corner pocket. Oh, now oh, what kind oh, of shot? Oh, all those kisses on the one didn't help him. One. But wait, look where the two is. This kind of seems appropriate. A two ball top stops in a tough spot. One ball, tough shot to start. You're, Any chance? You're, you're saying that the balls have brains. They know it's near the end, and they're going to do funny things. Oh, look they are. The they are. Stop. They are totally sentient. Yeah, I, yeah. How about one ball off of the two? Is the two close enough to the side to play the one ball? Off it? It's possible, you know, he got a big point there, but hmm. I don't think he's going to play that. Is he going behind the seven with the cue uh, ball, you think? I think so. Oh, a little weak. Uh-oh. How about a one-nine combination? Where? What? Where? I'll give you 40 well, shots no, at the one-nine combination. I'm trying to get it to Hill Hill, okay? Work with me here. Yeah, but, no? but do it gonna... when he's got a better combination. <laughs> Well, Dennis really. Yeah, yeah. Well, if the two were totally in a bad spot to make it, he could shoot the combination bank past oh, the. Oh, now eight. now it becomes plausible. Well, what? only because the two <laughs> oh. is sitting funny. The two's not sitting funny enough. You don't think so? It's tough. Yeah, it's in a bad spot. It, it can't pass the four in that pocket. Well, well, he's playing the. Well, he's he playing safe. It. Yeah, he did. Unsuccessfully. Well, he can hit it anyway. Well, how about cutting the one at the eight and going right back behind the five? Well, the eight's a long way off. It's in the upper right oh, corner. Oh, well, the six ball. I'm sorry. Glad you said that. He did get it with the nine, however. He got him. Oh, he doesn't even have a good full kick at the one. You know, he can... Hit the uh, oh. top part of it. Oh, I thought, uh, oh, yeah, Dennis is going to the swerve queue. Yeah. Well, Kenny's nodding his approval. Hmm. Well, 
what do you, what do you do? What do you do, Danny? You know, even jumping Please. the ball. See, what, I, if you're not jumping the ball to pocket it, I like to kick. Oh, yeah, what what's good as do. jumping this, and you're not shooting the ball in the pocket. So he kicked it, and I think it was a good hit, except for where he left the one. Yeah, now, look was, at the two though. But he can go one round, shoot the two up the far corner where the eight is. Exactly. If he uh, can get it by the point. That point enters very big. I know it enters big for me, but for Lee Van Corteza, he hits the ball so purely. I don't. I mean, oh, of course it's a, of course it's a possibility, but if you had ball in hand, and you were going to play it in the long corner, that's where you would put it. He got real good on this. Sure did. Let's see if he can shoot it by the point. He's looking at it. This is the last shot he has to make to win the tournament. And he did it. No problem. Beautifully struck. Beautifully struck. Yeah. This tournament is coming to an end right here. Well, then off of the four ball and straight to the middle of the table. That's a little hard. He's he was. Oh, he uh, wanted to be straighter on this. Yeah. Because then six to the seven would have been easier. He's still got work to do, folks. Well, that was like he he was almost a little bit amped up right there. He just he 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 totally overhit that. Yeah, and he's aware of. Yeah. So he's going to take his time, good judgment, walk around the table, gather yourself because. He's got to hit a pretty uh, difficult shot right here. It's a high inside ball. Or is he just going to stop right there? He missed it. Oh, man. No, he just did that to make people get excited. His backer just took a shot of whiskey. <laughs> and he still has work to do. He's going to shoot this with a high right ball. And go up table for the seven ball in the same corner. He's shooting the six. And don't go behind the eight. Nice well, done. He made it. Oh, he's feeling good. He's feeling good. One more little bit of a shot to make, and he's going to be crowned this champion. Is he going to shoot the seven behind his back? Well, just for circus tricks, yeah. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I couldn't tell if he could reach it. Uh, it's it, it's 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 out there. There it is. And now two. the end is near. Two cushions. And as I face the final curtain. Two cushions toward the nine ball. Is he going to get <laughs> just got, perfect? He got good. Well, it seems appropriate also that Cortez's uh, TPA also just bumped over the 900 threshold now at 901. And our champion, Lee Van Corteza from the Republic of the Philippines over countryman Dennis Orcuyo by a score of... Look at the smile on his face. First smile he had in this whole match. And he is tickled. He won a big tournament. All right. Uh, Danny, once again, thank you very much. And on behalf of the terrific crowd here at Harris Tunica, Diamond Billiard Products signature sponsor... Aramith Billiard Balls, Simona's Cloth. I'm David Maddox. That's it from the 2013 Southern Classic.